Okay, so I've ignored all the details. I have started to mark in shapes of where shadows and things are going to go. In fact, I need to do that one there. So there's a shadow under her leg that kind of runs up here. Okay, um, and then and then there's another one down there. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is try to block in these shapes with paint. Um, and I, I don't want, now this is where you run the risk of starting to get fussy. You've got to try and keep that uh, momentum going of quite large shapes and, and try and retain some of that energy. Um, I am going to work in colour, um, but I'm not too fussed about the colour at the moment. I'm more concerned with the light and the shadow. Okay, I'm going to start with the biggest shapes that I can see. And one of the biggest dark areas of shape is around this bit around the legs here. And the other thing I want to think about is also background shapes. So to create this highlight on this shoulder, I can do that by painting in this background dark shadow um, and that's on the wall there. Okay, um, so let's get, let's get going. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do actually is put my gloves on and then paint that background, I think. You, yeah, yeah, you could do, yeah. The only reason I'm doing I think the background's quite important in this image because it does create that sense of light on a shoulder. Um, so that's the only reason I'm putting it in, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, you remember when we did the portrait and I just did very loose brush marks for the background of the guy's face, didn't I? Um, right, okay, so it's kind of a, a beigey type colour. I'm going to start with the paint quite thin. And now if you want to do a vertical, a vertical line, I don't know if I've talked about this before. Um, so I've got this vertical line going up here and that's quite important. What I'm going to do is just hold my pencil approximately where it should be. And I don't know if you can see, I've got my finger on the side of the panel. Yeah, so I can just literally, I did it with my left hand, which is not great. That's going to give me my vertical line, okay. Um, sometimes if it goes off square, it doesn't work very well. And then I'm literally just going to, um, brush that in quite quickly um, so is this going to be like what we've done in the past um, different shades and all around the colour no I'm going to work in colour on this the only reason I'm doing it this colour is because that's essentially the colour of the wall in the background isn't it it's actually quite dark even though it's probably a, a cream coloured wall that shadow is quite dark I have a touch of blue in that as well. Okay. Um, now, it's a mid-tone. I want this side down here is going to be even darker still. Um, but that doesn't matter. I want this background to be a mid-tone to start with. Does get slightly lighter this side here. Can you see it okay? Does it? Yeah, it's quite light. I don't know if it... it's very. Yeah, it is very thin washed out paint. This is. Um, I mean, the other thing you can do is once that's on, you, know, you can if you if you're not happy with what you've done, you can easily take take bits off. So, if, for example, if I was to accidentally go over her face or something like that and I wanted to just clear that out I can just wipe that off there um, okay let's and you can continue all the way around once I've done that I want to start thinking about the darkest areas going with the darkest darks and the darkest areas around here where her legs are so I need to mix up a blacky blue for that it's really dark need a better brush actually I should have brought my own brushes these brushes aren't great are they okay and that shadow shape I've already drawn in in fact they're rubbish
needs more black in that. I'm not going to worry about um, where one leg ends and the other one sort of starts. It's one. I'm painting that in as one shape. And then there's a shadow under the book. And remember, not everything's going to be resolved. There are going to be areas of ambiguity, and that's good because that'll just add to the interest of the painting. Can you see what I'm painting actually? There we go. Um, oh, thanks, that's better, yeah. Oh, that's loads better. Most people have got their own brushes now, haven't they? Most people, yeah, it's... Those brushes that I, um, I brought along are just really just to get you started. That shapes it's quite. I'm not quite certain what's going on there with that knee, so I'm just going to leave that like that. Now I need a lighter blue for the other areas. Let's get that in there. And I want that. I really want to exaggerate that contrast. So I'm going with a much lighter blue in here. ambiguous in this area here and then there's some shadow under where the book is there and that does there's a slight curve to a leg there and this bits in shadow under the book so I need to just I've just added a touch of black to that just a touch of the darker blue rather I should say okay now I don't know if you notice there's one or two little gaps of white don't do that <laughs> get rid of them if there's any areas that are just pure white get rid of them because that'll destroy the illusion that you're trying to create okay so simple as that to block inner legs I've got to do the same thing with the body now okay and again I want to exaggerate them contrasts now this is going to be fairly extreme but I'm going to look at this shape here and I just see one shape there okay so let's mix up it's like a burnt sienna, a bit of this grey that I'd already got. And you'll think, oh my word, this is ridiculous. Um, get some black in there now, just to... Okay, and there's another dark shadow here. Here. And all of this under here is dark. Um, 
I've just added some white to that because that I've got to retain there's quite a bit of contrast between a trousers there and a jumper isn't there but I don't want to go really light here because I'm saving my really lights for that shoulder Does that makes sense if I was to paint this bit of a jumper as bright as that it would destroy the effect of that being really where most of the lights landing so I'm, I'm gonna I still want that contrast though so I've got two options I can lighten a jumper here a little bit um, or I could darken this bit where the trousers are and I think that's probably the best way to go actually I'm just gonna lighten that a little bit where that jumper is and it, it is quite light here where it comes around that corner but then on the opposite on the flip side I'm going to darken that as well that bit of it here so we've still got a strong contrast between a trousers and a jumper even though that's dark okay no eventually you could do yeah I'm not going in that's detail though. if you look at those little shadows there quite a bit of detail I'm just blocking in at the moment okay um, now that bit of a shoulder there um, is fairly dark but underneath the chin it isn't quite as dark so I've, I've got this lighter value that I've mixed here um, just to show you the palette I'm kind of I mixed up my original colors and then I'm just adding areas of light and you end up with a transition from dark all the way through to light um, so here it's slightly lighter but I don't want to lose that shape um, so under a chin we've got that polar neck that kind of comes down here haven't we um, and this is a bit going into a bit of detail, but that bit is slightly lighter there. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is get some red into a face, but without trying to um, lose the value. So. too bright from where you're sat sometimes in really dark shadows on faces you know putting a lot of red in there will help what red well it's the um, that's a cadmium red with a bit of I think it's um, burnt sienna okay and then warms it up yeah it's, it's quite warm then her cheek touch of yellow I'll go in with this cream on here now. Needs a bit more colour. too close to this every now and then you need to stand back don't you it's still very blocky and um, which is good that's what I'm after um, okay I'm going to start working on some of the shapes that are around um, the outside yeah. so here under her arm is really dark Again, the, the seat. So as I was saying last week, including the background is really important too. This hand's really dark, isn't it there? As is this one. I'm 
really rushing now to try and get this to a point where you can see how it's starting to come together. See, there's a lot of shine on there, isn't there? Yeah. That make is that better? Sorry, it's this. Okay, so all the time I'm doing this, I mean, there are bits that are going to be successful, and there are other bits that you think actually, that's not working. Um, and you've always got the option you can take bits off with your paper towel, and rework them. But you have to be thinking, what's wrong with it? Why isn't it working? At the moment, for me. I don't think the background's dark enough because this shoulder isn't really standing out. So I'm going to have to go in even darker. Um, and it's a grey kind of nondescript colour. Possibly even a greeny grey. Um, no, not really. Uh, um, yeah, grey would be okay in the... Yeah. It's the value I'm more concerned with than the colour. I'm not too fussed. Yes. No, no, they weren't. Yeah. See, that's better now. That that value is probably a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, we've got the chair that kind of comes down here. As soon as you start to put other things in, it helps with it quite a lot. Um, I'll get the book in very quickly. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because you get the idea, but um, the, the focus when I was doing this was value. It wasn't colour, okay? Um, you, and you will get that sense of form if you look at the shapes and the values, okay? I mean, you can continue to, what have I spent on that? I mean, how long have I been recording? 18 minutes and I've been talking, you know. Um, but essentially, that's the structure of the figure, isn't it? And then you would start to refine it and work on the colours. I mean, her face is clearly way too red there. Um, that needs to be more of a violety colour. But you can adjust those things afterwards. But you read that as an image. You read it as a girl sat down, and it's just blocks of shapes. Okay? So I'll stop that now, and I've been talking for well over an hour. So um, I'll let you get started on your own. If you want, Does anybody want to do this image? I'll quite happily leave this on the screen. Yeah.